Hello and uh, welcome to Nice Big Wrench again. Uh, following on from my uh, tracer introduction video about uh, decatting the exhaust and uh, debaffling it. Uh, this is not a tracer exhaust, this is a Phaser Mark II exhaust which I picked off of eBay for a pound. Uh, bargain! So I thought I'll cut it up and see how they look inside. So little inspection window. Uh, first of all I've cut all the mounting lugs and tabs off it. That's why there's these bits here. This bit here. We've cut that off. Uh, cut a little inspection window in the corner so that I could see what was inside. And then basically what Yamaha did was uh, their baffle is just inside this line, as you'll see in a minute. And what they've done is uh, welded the bottom and the top to the baffle. So that in order to take the back, you can't take the back baffle out without hacking the exhaust apart. What they also did was weld the top, this lid, to a post there, as you will see, da -da -da, like that. All right. So that piece has a tiny little round hole in it when it when it's in the factory, and then they put the two halves together and then weld that up. So uh, as you can see, that part. This strip here, this width, as you can possibly see, yeah, that strip there is part of the baffle itself. So the baffle comes up and then 90 degrees across and then it's welded in. Um, so obviously what that's what they've done. Now I've cut the, I've measured in how deep it was, cut all the way across so I could cut this lid bit off. And you can see this is where the baffle is. So Yamaha in what since this bike came out the phaser mark 2 was what 2001 2003 uh up till 2015 they're still making the exhaust the same way um so basically exhaust gas comes out of the engine from here goes hits this baffle gets bounced around this compartment a little bit goes in this tube which then goes out and then goes out into this section here and then back into the middle section then back out again and then splits off into the uh, two outer pipes. Um, I did think I could possibly cut this up and have it uh, and debaffle this and just have one pipe that just splits into a V, uh, but have it looking exactly like normal. But I don't think that's going to be possible without completely hacking apart uh, the exhaust. As you can see, this is how much mess I've made just to get a window just to see how it's made. Um, what I probably would have been easier to do would just be cut the entire thing all the way through uh, to get to the baffle so that I could cut cut out this edge. I don't have a plasma cutter, I've only got an angle grinder, so that's not going to really work. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm looking at doing with the tracer. It looks a lot more effort, so I might have to uh, spunk up the money and uh, buy a plasma cutter to make my life easier. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting and welding. Uh, but yeah, now you can understand. This is what I'm talking about with baffles and stuff like that inside it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes.